Greetings, dear, precious, magnificent, beautiful spirit soul that you are. You are intelligent. You know how to live your own life. You place your trust in who you are. And that's the key. My topic, this is part two of giving up attachments to problems and heartache. And how you do that is you attach yourself to truth. That was our first point. You attach yourself to yourself, to who you are, to the divine, to your source, to your beloved partner, because you are an eternal being and you cannot die. You were never born and you never die because that doesn't happen. What it is, is we change our clothing, our outfit, our consciousness, our, what would you say, um, our um, reality, and who you are always remains intact, no matter what's going on on the outside. So the second point then is when you get triggered by problems or heartache, whatever situations or people around you or what's going on is causing you to be depressed, is causing you to be afraid, is causing you to um, depower yourself, is causing you to live in terror and fright. Notice what's triggering you. What happened on the outside? Who told you something? What are you listening to? What are you watching? Who and what are you making better than who you are? And who are you making less than who you are? How are you... Um, I was talking to my daughter yesterday, Rebecca, Reverend Rebecca Righteous. She's really, she's good. And we were talking about, about getting over money issues in a, about how to, um, first of all, so I said, she said, mom, what would you say to somebody that said, uh, I want to get over money issues because it's, it's troubling, you know, so, okay. First of all, I'd say, well, there's two, there's money worlds and there's non-money worlds and there's the money game, and there's a non-money game. You can't get from the money game what you can only get from the non-money game, and it's not a game. It's being who you are. So money is also a game. It is a game of success and failure, having enough, not having enough. So I said, first of all, you, will, you can't solve a non-moneyed problem with money or whatever money means, stuff, things, houses, airplanes, cars, uh, things, build, what, clothes, jewels, coins, because it's who you are. So you have to look at what are you trying to get from more, whatever more means, more love, more attention, uh, more security, more friends, more likes, more dopamine hits, looping continuously with, you know, um, texting or however that person is giving their power away to someone or something else outside themselves for their source of pleasure. Because see, we're pleasure seekers, which means is pleasure is our nature. And the real pleasure of the heart, you see, people want to be satisfied, people want to be fulfilled. People want to feel good, all of us. We want to feel secure. And, and so then when we, when we then trouble ourselves, we get into the place, I don't have enough. So I, I was telling Rebecca, I said, well, let's, because she's a counselor also, and she works with people. She does great work with people. And she was talking about how she was dealing with others as well as herself. So when you find that you have, like, say, a money issue, which everybody does because money's been set up for that, and when you place your identity having to do with how much money you have or you don't have, and then you give other people who have more money, more power than you, so they must be better than you, they must be know more than you do, they must be more qualified because actually they have more stuff and more money, so that must mean that they're better, and then what do you feel like? I'm not good enough. So let's, we have to, first of all, once you anchor yourself in yourself, is to then take our power back 
and instead of being attached to money and stuff and other people's appreciation and whether they like you, they don't like you, uh, you have, uh, you know, your body, what body type, you know, bodies change. You know, people say, oh, I can't believe you used to look this way. Yeah, well, I have great pictures when I was four years old and whoa what a beautiful body then do I think well I'm I'm not okay now because my body changed no I have activated my spiritual body when you activate your spiritual body you no longer have fear and that's a lot what we do at our retreats and our workshops and I work with people in counseling because I don't do coaching because I'm not into sports I think sports are fun but I'm a spiritual therapist you see and and an empowerment and enrichment facilitator you know not just some yeah you could do it it's more than that so how you then then you take back your power it, it is to then notice you can't get from money what you can what you have to get from yourself so first of all then the second point is to notice where you're triggered because your friends have more money, so I can't talk to them anymore. Or my relatives think they're better than I do. And everybody's showing off all their stuff. So it's all in front of everybody going, Oh, I wish I could have that. And I wish I could go there. And I wish... It. Well, of course, you could if you wanted to. But you have to do. Are you willing to pay that price? You, you understand? So that's taking command and control of yourself. So when you feel triggered then you look at where you're giving your power to. Okay, and that's, and we will in the third step, then deal also how you, what would you say? You manifest for what you want, rather than allowing yourself to be depowered by being attached to that which cannot give you what you really want because you already have it. You can't get what you already have. And so what you already have is satisfaction. What you already have is fulfillment. What you already have is power. What you already have is divine abilities. What you already do is you can't get any more than what you have. So the, the key is to do your inner work. And as you do your inner work, okay, understand that, then you're centered and you're not keeping yourself on an emo emotional roller coaster because someone has a better looking body, someone had better looking clothes, somebody wants your mate and your partner, somebody you know says you oh, that's just stuff. Keep yourself centered. All is possible for you.